Hello. So this is the first real vlog for Varnish since the last one was just an intro. And as you can probably hear, um, my throat is not feeling awesome. In fact, I put off doing this until the last minute just in case my throat started to feel better. Um, so that kind of helped me pick the topic amongst the questions that we got. Um, not just in the winter time, but kind of all year round, I worry about how to take care of my throat right now. I'm not actually sick, but I have allergies, and so that makes my throat kind of icky. And I've struggled with allergies a lot through my life, and so I think a lot, and I think most people who use their voice think a lot about how to keep my throat healthy. And that was one of the questions that got sent our way was, what do I do to keep my throat healthy? So if you've ever been to one of our shows, you've seen my first thing, which is that I drink a lot of water, a lot of water. And if I hadn't put this off to the last minute, you would right now be treated to a montage of clips from videos of shows of me going, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, so yes, I constantly have a water bottle with me. And in fact, let's make sure it's on camera. Um, a, someone made sure also that I had a really cool water bottle for shows because this one looked stupid. <laughs> so that's one of the first things, and that's not just for shows, that's every day. Um, also every day, I am all about the tea, and even though I hate the licorice flavor, it helps. And it's not just tea, it's tea with loads of honey. I buy my honey in huge quantities. And in fact, if you see me showing up for a show, you don't just see the water bottle. <laughs> but the tea mug as well because I'm always drinking tea. So, oh, and then right before shows start or if I have a day when I'm on the run and I've somehow run out of water, what I always keep in my purse and in my pocket, like I said, right before a show starts so that we make sure I don't need to take a break for the ladies room during a show, I down lozenges. I like these because they're sugar free and I try not to do too much sugar, but that's just me. So that's that. Um, oh, and scarves. Scarves are my friend, especially when I'm feeling icky. They keep my throat warm. Um, I actually had a day a couple years ago where I woke up the morning of a show and the allergies had kicked in and I had no voice. And so I quickly texted everyone I knew and I got all who knew about voice things. And in addition to tea with honey, hot water with honey, warm milk with honey, I drank a lot of warm beverages with honey and a lot of water. Um, the one other thing that they suggested, which is a behavioral thing, is that I go on vocal rest. So I didn't talk at all that day, and in fact now if I have a day where I've got a show coming up and my throat feels crummy, I will go on vocal rest even if it makes people roll their eyes at me. Sorry, <laughs> the cat is causing trouble. Um, other behavioral things are that if I have a show coming up in the next day or two, no matter how excited I am about whatever other show I might be at or a roller derby or uh, what have you, I try not to do any shouting or screaming or singing loudly along. <clears throat> so none of that is genius, but you ask and that's what I do. So the, the one other thing I do, which is both to, oh, and sleep. You must, must, must sleep because your throat is part of your body and sleep heals your body and I'm a huge fan of getting enough sleep. Okay. So the one other thing I do, which initially started as being just all about the allergies, but, um, and having done it over the years, what I found is that it doesn't just help the allergies, but in general keeps all my breathing ways hydrated and keeps, if I have allergies, the post nasal drip, calm down and all of that actually. And, and doing this helped me so that the few, the times I've traveled, uh, you know, long trips to, well, not so long to Europe, but there was this 48 hour travel going to South America and I didn't get dried out at all on the plane. And so that is my neti pot. I will let you go hunt videos online of people using their neti pots. When my doctor first suggested it, um, well, I only used it because she said, well, it's that or sinus surgery. And so I bought one and I put it on the counter and I avoided it all day. But now I use it every morning and every evening and I take it with me when I travel and I love it and I endorse it. And then because my allergies keep getting worse, just for full disclosure, I do use Flonase. And so Flonase, if you'd like to sponsor me, oh my stars, when a girl doesn't have insurance, it's really expensive even to get generic Flonase. So 
Bolognese. Okay, so that is what I do to take care of my throat generally and to, well, yeah, just to take care of my throat generally. I think that answers the question that was sent. So now I'm going to shut up so that I don't strain my throat anymore. <coughs> and I want to, uh, of course, invite you to either in comments on YouTube or through our contact page if you go to varnishcentral.com. Not only can you find all sorts of nifty things about us, but if you click on the contact page, you can find our email address or you can leave a comment on the wall. You can find us on Facebook, wherever you'd like to hunt us down in a non-scary stalker way. If you have ideas for future vlog posts, things you'd like to see, questions you'd like to have answered, whatever, for the vlog, the blog, the newsletter, any of that, please do feel free to send it our way. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna go shut up and do a little vocal rest now. Thank you.